Hey everyone, this is part six of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. In this step is referred to as OLL, which is orienting the last layer. And what this means is we will be getting all of the yellow onto the top. So let's get started. So step one is the yellow cross. And it will look like this at the end. And to do this, you need to make sure that you have the yellow face on top or yellow face on the U side. So that way, if you do a U movement, you'll be turning the yellow face. Now know that if you already have something that looks like this, which is the yellow cross, you should keep watching because you will not always have a yellow cross right from the start. I do want to make it clear not to worry about the corners. Uh, a good tip that I have is just to pretend all of them are grayed out. All of the, so picture every color on the corners are gray. Just worry about the edges that are yellow. Next, just look at the yellow face and you could have one of the three scenarios. You could have a line, which looks like this, an angle, which looks like this, or a dot, which looks like this. It's no edges solved, it's just the yellow center. So let's start with this one. Now, before we begin, there are two new moves that you're going to need to know, but they are very, very simple. The first one is called wide F and wide F prime. It follows the same principles as F, so if I have green in front and white on top, an F is like an F movement, it's just an F clockwise, but a wide F is this, the front layer, and this middle layer. It's the first, it's the, it's the two Fs, like that. So if I were to say wide F, F prime, this is what you would do. Wide F, F prime. Okay? And then F, wide F prime. Like that. Okay. And the next move is called S. What this is, is like the wide F, like this, all you're going to do for S is just turn the middle layer like this. S, so this is S, S prime. S, S prime. Then you can have wide F, wide F prime. Wide F, wide F prime. Just like that. So now let's continue. So now if you have the dot and it looks like this, you just have to make sure it's on the top and it doesn't matter if blue, orange, green, or red are in front, just make sure that um, yellow is on top and do the algorithm, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, S, which looks like this, S, and then R, U, R prime, U prime, and then wide F prime. And as you can see, we now have the yellow cross. So the next case is if you have a line and notice you could hold it like this or like this. You need to hold it like this, so it's horizontal on the top and do the algorithm F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And as you can see, we now have the cross. And now the last case you could have would be if you have an angle like this and you want to hold it so that way you, one of the edges is facing you, it's right in front of you, and one that's to the right of you, like this. Then you're going to do the algorithm wide F, R, U, R prime, U prime, wide F prime, and then you will have the yellow cross. Now the next step will completely solve the yellow face and will complete OLL. So there are two main algorithms that you will use in combination with each other to do this. And I will call them algorithm one and algorithm two or one and two. So the order that you do the algorithms depends on the way that the corners are oriented. So we are talking about the yellow side we're trying to solve. So if you will just move this to the side. So here's the picture. You can see the yellow corner or the yellow color on the corner is here. And that is why 
there is a yellow line right here. Same with this one. It's right here, it's somewhere there. I don't have the picture right here. It's gonna be edited, um, but yeah. And then there's one on the back, so it's on the back. So that is what it will look like, and let's start. So here's algorithm one and algorithm two. It should be, you'll be able to see that. So if your cube looks like this, do algorithm one. And algorithm one is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So it's like that. And then you'll have the yellow. So now if your yellow face looks like this, notice there's no yellow here. So if it looks like this, you want to hold it like this and do algorithm two, which is R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And then you'll have the yellow. If your yellow face looks like this, you're going to do algorithm two and then another algorithm two. If your yellow face looks like this, you are going to do algorithm two, U prime, algorithm two. If your yellow face looks like this, do algorithm two, U prime, algorithm one. If the yellow face looks like this, do algorithm two, U, algorithm one. And lastly, if your cube looks like this, do the algorithm two, U2, one. And then you should have all of the yellow on the top of your cube. Now, I really hope that this tutorial was helpful on orienting the last layer. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for part seven when we actually solve the cube. So once again, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.